with Schalke would be the boost they've been after. Schalke coming in with just one win in their last seven starts. And Schalke's hopes of a rebound get a big boost in only the 15th minute. Niles Campus taken down in the box, or at least ruled to have been taken down. You see the replay. Thomas Haitu, just back from injury, takes the penalty. He beats Oliver Kahn. 1-0 to Schalke. And here's how this one looked for Kahn. He wouldn't like the looks of it. Guessed well, but couldn't reach it. Home team up by a goal early. More good news for Schalke 16 minutes later. Byron getting set for a corner kick when something happens away from the ball. Thomas Linka is singled out. Not only singled out, but sent off. Down a goal. Bayern Munich now down a man. Keep your eyes on the top of the 18-yard box for the replay. It's tough to spot, but you will see the right arm of Linka coming up. There's the elbow, or what looks like an elbow from a distance, and he is gone. Moments later, Levin Kobishvili will send across, across the top of the box for Sergio Pinto. The one-timer, it goes wide. Take another look. Onside, but fired wide by Pinto, who was disappointed. Ahead to the 79th minute now. Still 1-0 Schalke, but playing with the extra man, and it finally pays off. Niles Campu sent in alone, and he'll find a way to get it past Oliver Kahn, who is charging out on the play. Schalke's fans erupt, and you can understand why. What a scene. A replay of the big goal by Niles Campus. Campus taking it well from Ebba Sand. 2-0 to Schalke as they shock Bayern Munich. Borussia Dortmund hosting Hamburg. Tough times for the hosts early on. 13 minutes in, Medi Medeviki is free kick, is headed by a Dortmund player, but not to safety. David Bastian Reinhardt redirects it in. Watch for Reinhardt on the replay. He'll just get a boot on it. 1-0 to Hamburg, and it stays that way until a wild second half. Hamburg with a free kick just before the hour. Medeviki is free kick again, headed away, but the pressure persists. The volley back in, deflected by Bernardo Romeo or at least to Bernardo Romeo, and he puts it away on the replay. You'll see how he finishes it. Right to a wide open Romeo, and the visitors appear to be well on their way to victory. However, and it's big however, just four minutes after taking the 2-0 lead, Borussia Dortmund get the home crowd going. A free kick ends up bounding to Ricken. He'll pass to Nicholas Jensen. Jensen's ball is perfect for Jan Kohler. Kohler, the big check on. And this one's worth another look. Kohler pumped up, and he should be. He goes way up and gets this one, nodding it across the line, and all of a sudden the home team is within a single goal. That's the fifth this season for Kohler. Things barely back underway when Hamburg contributes to the Dortmund comeback. Thomas Uchfalusi with a late tackle. A penalty is given. And Kohler tries for a second straight. And oh, yeah, he gets it 2-2 after two goals, two minutes apart. And the hometown crowd is a rocket. What a scene at the stadium. Just three minutes later, believe it or not, there is more. Rapid transition from midfield for Dortmund. Rickend eventually goes one-on-one. -on -one and then crosses to a wide-open Enrique Everton. And this is what you call a go-ahead goal. Three goals, advantage. A spectacular second-half burst from the home side. One last push for Hamburg, a corner in the 91st minute. But Dortmund is able to clear. And a stirring comeback win is all theirs.